And welcome back. Here we are again in the Final Fantasy Tactics Solo Temple Knight Challenge. As you remember, I was just outside of Golgorn Execution Site, which I said is probably the most interesting battle in any challenge run, as it's probably one of the more well-balanced and fair fights in the game. So, we're going to be going in, and we'll see what we find. Perhaps this will be super easy, perhaps we'll not finish it this video, I don't know. The difference between this and the Geomancer, I'd say that's probably most important. I need to kick somebody out of the party. The difference between this and the Geomancer that I think is most important was the Geomancer had Counter Flood, which allowed me to attack the um, archers out of range after blocking them. But in this case, I'm going to have to get actually attack people, which is going to be a bit harder. So I can't just rely on blocking a shot and then killing them out of range. Let's place a safe state there, by the way. So first goal, obviously, we got to kill Gafgarian. And I'm pretty certain that NPCs and various important characters are immune to, um, they're immune to chicken and the like. So, we can't go for an easy answer on Death Gary. I don't think we have the raw power to kill him before the before he takes his turn. But we'll see what we can manage. We've got a good movement speed, so perhaps we'll just end up running from him. Now, it's been two weeks. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to get out at least one video every two weeks. Uh, I've been kind of busy lately, so I'm squeezing this one. I might uh, end this one a bit shorter than I would otherwise, especially if the fights aren't going really well. Um, however, I kind of I know last time I kind of said I wouldn't leave, and I ended up leaving for three and a half years, so I will make at least this promise. If ever I go a month without making a video, even if I just have to cobble something together, I'll put up a simple enough video to kind of explain what's going on. And that, of course, leads to the question of what I'm going to do on my current trial of uh, Camtasia runs out. I'm not too, entirely too certain there. But uh, if I have to, I'll do a quick Windows uh, Movie Maker thing to figure out what I'm going to do. He's faster than me? What the hell? Speed 8. Huh. Well, whatever the case is, apparently if I start here, he can't reach me. But he's backing me into a corner, so that's not really all that much help. No, pretty sure. Yeah, can't stop. Let's see what happens when we try to damage him. Can we do enough damage to make him? Does not seem so. And this is going to be the uh, sticking point here. If we can't do enough damage to make it run, he gets to get off and attack. Well, that's uh, enough reason to stop. Alright. How much damage would we do if we took... Uh, eh, no, we do less damage barehanded. So that's not an option. I think what might be an acceptable option is to put him to sleep. Then, um... Then we can, uh... One shot him after that. They can't attack us in between. So let's check our chance to actually get that off. Oh, the time it takes these fights to start. Nice windows overlapping each other. <laughs> so overall, I think the start of this is probably going to be the biggest steal. It's really how do we get rid of Gaff Garrigan without getting too much damage. Once we can get on the move, we're not too bad off. The um, archers can hit us, but we've got a good dodge chance. They can't do that much damage. So... Let me actually check. Do any of these guys have coral swords with like bows? Guys, coral sword, crossbow, ace bow. Okay, so one coral sword, and that might, I'm guessing that varies between runs, but it's probably not gonna. 
Lower of our chance of putting him to sleep. Pretty good. Yeah, we're probably gonna need to score that first sleep. So I'm thinking we score that first sleep, walk behind Gafgarian. Uh, at least make certain to be out of the range of the knight if possible. Once that's done, we finish him off with a single hit, and then we run up to the scaffolding. Up on the scaffolding, we'll probably we'll have some good control over the battle. Over the battlefield. We'll be able to stay away from the archers up there until they climb up, and uh, the knights kind of have to walk around, walk up the scaffolding somewhat slowly so I can kind of outpace them. So I should be able to reduce it to just a three, a fight against three people up top, uh, in that sense. The, the, sca the archer on the scaffold does have the, uh, on the execution stand, does have a crossbow shield. She'll be able to shoot up if I don't stand far enough back. So I probably want to not stand on the lip of the, uh, of the, uh, arch. Huh, that's weird. I'm guessing he just randomly has boots some of the time. Yeah. Alright, we'll go along with this fight. Um, and different levels of faith. Well, there we go. So we'll stand here and we should be able to one-shot him on our next action. Alright, that's going to reduce my ability to pull that off, but that's still damage. That might be enough to turn my um, hit into enough to get him to run away. I think from now on, maybe if that's going to continue to be an issue, I'll want to uh, stand in the archer's way so I can Try to take the hit. Right. The time ages could do is going to be interesting. Hey, not too bad, but if they can slow me or, God forbid, stop me, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. But hasting themselves is just hasting somebody who's 20 levels below. Well, tap, really. Ha! Nice. Alright, so good. Both those failed. Ah, eh, that hit. Alright. Yeah, we can't really afford the time to walk around. Okay, that should be enough to get him to run. Okay, so a sleep... A sleep and a hit should do it, whether we multiply damage or somebody wakes him up. That's gonna be enough to get the job done. Now, we can't go around stoning this guy, because then he's going to get in the way. Um, so he'll have to run away first, but he should do that. Like I said, NPCs will almost always move, even when they have good reason not to. Taking some notable damage so far, though. However, I still think my best option might be to stone everybody up here, when reasonable. And then maybe start... If try to basically go for the one shots, and then um, and then uh, start stealing HP for the Knights on the Rock. Okay, so it looks like these guys don't have uh, slow, unless they probably have tried to use it on me by now. Good. Knights, the one up there, most threat. The time ages so far have only demonstrated that you cast haste. So if the time ages are casting haste faster, that doesn't really mean all that much. Whoa, that sound just as weird. Alright, so we've got one time age with haste, so that's the one we want to go down first. And we can't one shot her, so what about petrify? So knight easy to petrify, time age difficult, difficult. I ironically, this one's got the most faith, apparently. So let's get rid of him. There we go. Alright, 
also gonna want to start killing these. Not entirely certain. Okay, so they do have they do have some offense. Okay, they do have slow. This is bad. Dodge it! Dodge it! Damn! Uh, I'm going to need to do something about that. Fortunately, we're still relatively early on in the game, so a single slow is probably not going to cost me too much time. Um, because basically the spell t lasts a certain number of clock ticks, which are those number of clock... Um, which is how often your, uh, your, your action meter increases. So the slower you are, the less time these spells will have to last on. Okay, so I'm not certain what I want to do here. The knights are getting close up there. Um, if I can petrify that knight and stand in front of him, then I can completely block the stairway. That's terrible. What about everyone else? Mm. Do you have low faith or bad zodiac? Probably... okay. Opposite zodiac. I'll just try attacking. Anyone but the time mage who attacks me is going to have to do it from the front. God, what is causing the sound effect to get so weird? Great. So what I think though would be a good strategy is to once we get the knight on the on the archway is to uh, paralyze is to break some knight on the stairs and then stand in front of them and then that way they can only attack me uh, the archers from the sides or something because then I can ensure to be safe no one can attack me and that'll probably be a good strategy in general because if all I've got up here are the time mages and maybe the archer from behind then I can really take my time to pick people off um, Maybe even just resort to stealing mana. So remember, they don't need to have the mana for me to steal it. If the time mages burn themselves out, then they're perfectly good places for me to steal mana off of. And are basically harmless to me, doing probably very little damage. So in fact, I might want to leave them alive. If I can't kill them fast enough to actually stop them casting their spells, leaving them alive might actually be one of the better options. But it would have done you much good. Okay. Unfortunately, he's running away, so I think I'm gonna take the same tactic here. Because I need them to get into position for me to pull that off. Let's work on killing this time mage. I wish I remembered which one to use slow on me. He'll climb up and then, uh, no, this is the one I've got the bad zodiac with, so that's not really an option. Just stay there. Stay- No! Give me the haste! Damn it! Well, they at least seem to be keeping their distance now. Okay, I'm guessing that's a uh, cure spell going off. Okay, so then I want to try to catch the cure spell. Make certain she doesn't. All right, archers are getting close. Let's face this way so that we can guard against her shot. And the knight attacking us. Thanks for the health. Don't mind if I do! Okay, they can jump up, so I'd need to... I couldn't 
paralyze them where they are right now. I'd have to paralyze them one step down. We're not doing too bad, though. We've got two people down. We've got a nice good position up here, but they're not doing that much to us. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn. Okay, so mixed opinions about that one. I lost the white robe. Now, I did kind of go on the principle that I wouldn't pretend like I've got these. Hmm. Like, I wouldn't hack them back again. Let's defeat the battle, and then we'll kind of see where we go from there. Maybe we don't have to make a choice after all. Let's see, this guy's got... Bad Zodiac, yeah. Let's start moving away from him, buddy. Yeah, that white robe gave us resistance to elemental attacks. That's not a minor thing, especially for, um... Round two. Otherwise, this does seem to be going well. This needs shell. He's already basically invincible to my attacks. Alright, but I think this demonstrates the point that we can pull this off. Uh, the stairwell is good. If we could ever uh, petrify a knight on it so that we could uh, prevent people from climbing the stairs, we'd have it pretty easy. And in fact, because of that, I think we should restart. But I'm going to go ahead and play this battle to completion. Just for funsies. damage do I do? Okay, so I couldn't do this. About exactly two of it. You know what? Shock is starting to come, come in handy. We've got three casts of it. Let's make certain no more heal spells go out today. So I've got two big spells left in the works, and three enemies left. Yeah, now the Coral Sword's gonna do more damage to me, because I can't resist lightning anymore, not natively. But my shocks are even worse. Okay, I've got two shocks left, and a heavily injured knight who I could one-shot. So, I think we could take this one as red. So let's go back get our white... You know what? I'm actually kind of curious. I don't know what shows up in the stores after this fight. So I think that's how a lot of the battles are going to go. We're kind of going to fight fair, maybe use some... Maybe start off with Petrifies, and as the battle goes on, uh, and we take more and more injuries, rely more and more on Shock. Shock value. Shock and awe. So the closer we are to death, the closer we are to winning. Good times. I hope we can't reach that. Good. Grab the crystal. Get our MP back. Oh wait, we can't shock him now. I get my MP back to do shock, but I can't actually do a shock. But we got MP to waste. Let's see if we can't get lucky here. I guess we did. Alright. So if that, uh, if that armor break hadn't gone off, we'd have won. 
And we actually did get a little bit unlucky. We got Gafgarian hitting us. Um, so that's something that kind of started off a little bit bad. So I don't think we have too much trouble with this fight. Um, all we need to do is secure that first sleep against Gafgarian. If we don't, we're in kind of trouble because he's, he's faster. So we won't be able to... Uh, we'll have to take two hits from him. And yeah, that's not something we can do. So, I'm going to go ahead and see if the stories don't start carrying White Robe. I'm pretty certain they don't. Alright, let's try this again from the top, but without the loss of the White Robes. You know, the losses of maybe the helmet, I might have stuck with it, because while that is the best helmet in the game, it's only a few extra points of hit points. Alright, this is before I took care of that, wasn't it? Alright, sorry about that. The screen might have moved a little bit. Um, I had to reset the application and move the window around, because it doesn't act up properly. Anyway, if we had lost the helmet in that battle instead of the white robes, I might have considered going on, because while the helmet is the best helmet in the game, it's also not, um, like, all that independently useful. All it is is a few more hit points. The white robe, however, um, while we'd be able to replace it soon, it represents more MP and it represents a resistance to elemental attacks. And that would be a bit of a bigger thing to give up. And like I said, we didn't have too much trouble with that, which I'll take as a good sign, because, um, you know, the issue I was worried about is, as we move further on, really, you know, Petrify wasn't going to do it. But Shock, I think, is really good. I think it's... I think, I think that's going to be a general strategy, is maybe try to get into places where I can kill enemies and maybe take a little bit of damage until I can get around to shocking everything to death. Use Petrify to pick off a few key targets to get to a healthy spot. So I can start fencing, and then finish off the map with shock. Okay, so this one isn't gonna get close enough to me. And for sake of ease, I'm gonna go with the safe state right here. So I'm gonna have to watch the opening cutscene every time. Either so we're getting on this side of this gap here. But well, she's gonna shoot him. Well, that's okay. Well, he's got a lot of HP today. Might have to. We'll see. Okay. That won't do at all. And the intention here isn't really to save state, it's to, um... To save scum, it's really just to save time on the opening cutscene. That happens again long when I guess the RNG values got locked. I don't know how save scum, if save scum would work here. Apparently it does work. Again, not my intention though, it just means I want to uh, skip all that crap at the start of the fight every single time. Okay, can I please have my turn? So many people with so many problems! damage to me. Really? We'll be right back after these messages. Alright, welcome back. Restart things again, I'm gonna go with a new fight in this one. Same strategies, what the heck? Oh god damn it! God is punishing me for all my use of counter flood. Well, at least it's not from that night on the fucking dam. Same basic tactic applies, though. I'm gonna 
gonna shoot me this time. But because the knight's gonna wake him up? No. Just don't care? I guess they just don't care. They're a bunch of selfish jerks. Maybe they maybe it's because the archer did a lot of damage against me, I'm not sure. No. That'll do it. Ugh. An archer is, did look like she did good damage against me, so I don't want her to haste. But at least they're not stopping me. Fail! Damn it. That frickin' white robe. Damn it, man. I'd be sitting pretty now if it weren't for that. Like, 17% chance of losing the armor, and I lost it. Gosh darn it. Good. Fall down. Good enough. Alright, let's start climbing the bridge. Probably won't do much damage for the charts. The downside is I wasn't able to walk right up next to the knight, so the knight's gonna walk up to me and I won't be able to kill him. If I can, if I petrify him, I can't walk past him. So maybe I'll see about petrifying the time. Huzzah blocking. Huzzah the Templar bit. Okay, so good. He at least can't do that much damage to me. Hmm. I'm gonna have to move forward, though. If I don't move forward... I won't be able to... He's just gonna walk up to me again. He won't run away and make room. He's just gonna keep body blocking me. Just can't hit me, can you? Just accept it. Right, there you go. Run away. Forget about it. Alright, yeah, he's gonna move forward and keep body blocking me. I need to give him a reason to run back. Now, can I... I can't actually reach him. No. He's out of range, right? Yeah. So I can't actually reach anybody else. I'm not curious, what is my... Okay, he's cancerous. So I got bad so which means he's not gonna do that much damage to me, so let's at least get him started on his train to death. I was deciding whether or not to defend there. Although admittedly it would also allow me to defend against the uh, archers and any slows or stops coming. So in retrospect, I probably should have defended there. There are too many other actions that could have been taken against me that I should have been ready for, but no. It's not like this is a razor edge battle, really. As long as the first, as long as we get rid of Gafgarian on the first two actions, then we're fine. Leaving him alive after that can get tricky because if he runs away in a direction I can't, that's not the scaffolding. I'm going to have to expose myself a lot more, and that's going to make things more difficult. So, he's ah shit. Clear shot to my butt. Oh, he's trying to get my MP. That would have actually been pretty terrible. That was like 57 MP was going to take away. I cannot let that happen. That is, that is three shocks. Alright. Oh, well then. Don't mind if I do! Free kill is a free kill. In retrospect, maybe I should have let her get the haste off and taken the haste for myself. Ah, well. I still would have, yeah, even if I tried to, say, petrify the knight or something and succeeded. Um, it would, yeah, I don't know. It could have gone either way on that one. I should have at least thought about it, though. But, no. Yeah, I suppose if I was able to finish off the knight, 
Um, but I wouldn't really have been able to. Uh, maybe I had enough for shock. I don't think so. But yeah, if I got hasted and the time mage got hasted, that would be a worthwhile trade instead of just going for the shock. But it would have been risky at any rate. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's bad. That's a lot of MP. Okay, he's gonna leave me alone. Damn, that is... Oh, that's terrible. I've got one offensive spell in me until I start maybe stealing some from the one living time mage. So we're gonna have to play a bit cautiously here. Let's see if we can. We're still gonna try that... Uh, Maybe if we get lucky, we can do that. Well, no, too many knights are up here. We can't really block the, the stairwell. Because all the people we'd want to block are already here to begin with. Okay. Get closer. No, that is not closer. I want to see if I can't get the time mage range to steal her MP. That's... What about... Okay, the archer over here is... Alright, so everyone's on this side. So if I just flat out run away from that side... Okay, how much mana can I steal from this guy? Not enough. How the f do I got bad Zodiac? Like, everyone I've got bad Zodiac with, or they just, like, fucking hate God? And fudge. Now, you know what? I wouldn't particularly mind a repositioning right now. It's not any position that's good. This is my big problem with defend as a skill. There's no confirmation there. Misclick is, you know, too damn bad. Fortunately, it also basically will render me invincible, especially as I get better and better mantles. I just effectively can't hit me for the turn. So I could use it to let people come into position and trigger, uh, Counter tackle. Because, yeah, that's a 60% chance, and, as we get, and we don't have the best shields and mantles yet, so. It's almost a pity we have to use this with only counter tackle. If we had counter flood with this, we'd be like, be awesome to shrug off all the hits. I don't really like this one. Okay, good. It worked. We don't need to kill these knights, we just need to make them run away. And how far can this thing move? Okay, so two steps back and he won't be able to reach me. So now the knights are going to run away. We've effectively removed them from the battle. Because, yeah, nobody seems to be using potions or healing spells. The archers aren't too bad. They can, um, you know... So it's really the knights that are the threat here. They can get up close. They're kind of hard to hit. They can hit reasonably hard. They can destroy my MP! But we seem to be blocking like a champ, so that's good. Oh, yeah! Okay. That knight's blocking. Got lots of HP. This one's a bit risky, but I don't think the archers can meaningfully get behind me. How much? Okay, not a very high chance. But what about? All right, so that would put me down to 31, and then I get 16 back, so I'd be at 46, which would be enough for enough for two shocks. With two knights down, and her completely out of mana, we'd basically be down to. Two archers and a knight. So if this succeeds, she's yeah. she's not contributing to this fight anymore. Those two knights aren't contributing to the fight anymore. So we've got three people, and 
the archers might not be able to get into position to shoot me. Our counterattackers are doing fairly respectable damage. Not huge, but enough to make the difference. They'll add up. Though as the game goes on, it's still like a one to maximum power effect, so they're just going to get worse as the game goes on. Alright. She's about to die. I don't know if I'll be able to grab the body, though. If I knew I could grab the body, then I'd start tossing out shots. Let's see here. She's at 16. So he'll almost certainly get the body before me. But we've got uh, two shots now, and the knight we've got bad zodiac with is a perfectly good thing to use it on. Boom! save CT here. Hopefully we'll be able to grab a uh, crystal. I'm sorry, I don't think you understand how this works. Ah, no crystals. Well, at least they don't get a crystal. Yeah, they would have gotten it, so I'm not going to complain too much there. Alright. So a shock will leave me with enough... her off. One more hit um, will get me enough so I can shock one of them to death, and then I'll have a fair fight with the remaining one. And then I'll just pick off the knights, who are too weak to put up a proper fight. Alright, so I think we've got this well in hand. Give me good directions for the fights to go in the future. Ow. But you're only gonna make me angry, and you won't like me when I'm angry. Alright. I don't have MP to do anything but steal MP with, but uh, for the knights we'll just wait. We've got more movement speed, so we'll just wait outside of their range. And when they approach us, we'll run around back and finish them off. What do we have left? Only, only a spell. Okay. All right. And barring some really good luck on the enemy's part, we got this wrapped up. Okay. Rather than going around back, I'm gonna do this around front so I can keep away from the knight. He's got. Okay, I'm out of range, so I'll just wait here. Okay, now the biggest issue is we still need to hit through the shields. In fact, because of that, I'm going to play it safe. I'm not exactly overflowing on health here. Uh, let's see. Yeah. He's got a movement speed of three, so if I... for me. Alright. So if I move here, I might be able to get him into position so that he'll have to circle around back. I don't see I don't really fear about it, but there's no reason to take any chances. Now I can circle around back and get a backstab. Fudge. Am I gonna have to give my crystal? Uh, two, three. Okay, 
So if he's going to go for the crystal, he can't get to me. What's his bravery? 56. Drain has a 74% chance. Chicken has 74. Well, let's just go straight for the end of the battle then. Yeah, that's a high percent. Yeah, it's certainly worth the risk. Fuck. Okay, he's probably not gonna fall for it, but let's turn her back. You wanna hit me, don't you? Ah, crap. Alright, I can't even cast a spell right now, so I am in a bit of a bind. Let's see if we can't... Aha, there we go. Alright, sir, now it's just a fair fight. You and me, max health and MP. I do not like your odds. Alright. Unfortunately, this does mean I can't freaking shock him. That's the drawback of crystals. Alright, if I move here, he won't be able to get to position. Well, see how long that body lasts. Put him to sleep. There we go. Walk up alongside. Actually, that body's gonna decay. After he gets his turn. Okay, I'm safe. So he'll get his turn, then act, then the body will decay. So even if it becomes a crystal, we're all set. And killed in counterattack. All right, there we go. And we get to keep the white robe. All right, so that's enough material for one video. I think we're all set. We'll see how I'm feeling the rest of the weekend. Might get in a few more. Um, this was probably... Oh, gosh darn it, screensavers. All right. Oh, crap, we already saw this. All right, well, I'll finish up then. Um... So next we've got um, Lionel Castle, where we start in the area with Gafgarian. Um, the sleep trick will probably work. I might even be able to try something else. I'm not certain what does and doesn't interrupt sleep, and what statuses I can and can't put on him. But if I could um, place a status on but if I could maybe sleep him and then drain the mana back, and then, um, you know, cast Don't Act on him or, or Chicken or something. He won't, he won't turn into a chicken, um, and Brave doesn't affect Gafgarian's damage, so that won't be helpful, but maybe I can, um, don't act him and then drain mana to get it back, and then slow, and then beat him to death, and then, because I only have to open up that area of the fight when I want to, and the only one who can get past the gates is going to be the Summoner, and anyone who happens to have long-range abilities, but the Summoner will have to get in range of me, at which point I can start stealing his mana, or his life, and work with it that way, so... That's probably not going to be too hard. Quakelin will also probably not be too hard, as we're just going to aim drains at him. That's probably going to be the most boring part, is dealing with the Zodiac Beast, because we can't really use status effects on them. I can't charm anyone to my side. Uh, you know, it, it's just going to be... They're just straight-up damage contests, and... And, uh... Yeah, and, and Drain Life deals one quarter of their damage. It is rounded down, so it's going to require, I think, five hits if they don't have a specific amount. Oh, gosh darn it. They don't have a specific amount of health. But, uh, that still shouldn't be too hard, because as they're damaging me, I'm healing, healing it back and damaging them. But there's still the failure chance, so it's probably going to end up being a case of, you know, multiple resets, with the only tactic being Keep your distance, drain life. So that's going to be a bit on the boring end. But we'll see how that goes. We've got Quakelin to, de uh, to deal with. Then we're going to take a... Once we get to Chapter 3, we'll fin I'll finish up the item farming. We'll go from there. We'll probably get to the more interesting stuff. I hope this video was a bit more interesting than the last couple of ones. I think we had a pretty interesting battle. So I'm going to save. I'm going to go ahead and check the uh, store. Feel free to turn it off now, but I don't... We checked last time, I don't think there was anything interesting here. Uh, the only thing that would be interesting is, yeah. 
uh, accessories, because everything else uh, you could get to drop, but accessories you can only get... Uh... Oh, green berries. I can't wear you. I am so sad. But the accessories are limited to... Um... You can't really get them to drop while following the SEC rules. They, they, the good ones don't drop until much higher levels, so... Alright. I think we're all set, and I will see you guys next time. Adios.